so here we are in the picking stage and as you see I got the body all primed off camera just to save a little bit of time in this video so it's not very long so what I'm doing is I'm actually blowing off the full body just get any access dust and anything that could have fallen onto the body while it was sitting there for a couple days but in primer gas out so let that so do that I'm doing this over for the airbrush for the air if, if you have to you can get a little really big brush with really soft bristles and that will do a job also so now what I'm doing is I'm getting the hard to reach areas first which means easy to figure spots so that, that means like under the fenders the side skirts and you know all the complicated shapes you might miss when you're doing the full body so like most some cars there's vents where you might miss and you know all those complicated areas this car has a spoiler on the back which has you know pretty big dip sticking out so I did that so because you know you can easily forget that when you're doing the whole body because you're not really thinking about those areas when you're doing a whole paint job and this car has a big engine bay with complicated shapes in it so I did that first also because it's a lot of, like I said a lot of complicated shapes and you can easily miss all those areas in, in your bay and all that stuff when you're doing the whole body so right after that's done then you can go ahead and move on to the whole body just spraying down the whole body um right now i'm just doing pure black this is nothing special just rigidly just black no metallic no nothing so black rigidly covers very well you can get, pretty much get away one coat of black but since this is the body you know i don't want no wrinkling or nothing so i did i went ahead and did two coats and the first coat is very light so as you see on my finger I'm only pulling the chicken back halfway just letting a little bit of paint coming out and because you know like I said it's body you don't want to go overboard because you can risk wrinkling the paint and it could leave, it could leave some weird grooves in the paint job which you don't want so keep the lights very light and durable Alright, so with the body, you want to do the body panels also with the body, such as the hood and then the rear of your mirrors, because you want to do them the same exact time, just so you get the same exact kind of color with the body. So, right after that, let the body dry for 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to dry for about 5 minutes, because it's black, it dries pretty decently fast. And as you can see from this first coat, you can still see the primer. Like I said, very light coats, 
don't want to go overboard because you can risk wrinkling the paint and you don't want to do that. So about five to five to ten minute dry time and then you're safe to do on the second coat. When I wait for the coats to dry, I always top off the airbrush with more paint in the cup. It just saves the paint drying in your cup in your airbrush and it makes it a little bit easier to clean out in the future.
Okay, so the decals are on. Let the decals dry for about a couple hours. Speed up the process with a blow dryer. If you have the time, let it dry for, for overnight. It's probably your best shot. Now you're ready for clear coat. So now what I'm doing right now is I'm blowing the whole body down with air through the airbrush because you want to make sure there's no dust onto the body whatsoever. Because it will show through the clear coat and you know, it's not going to look pretty good. So Because you're going to have to wet sand it and polish it out. So it just saves you actually stop by doing this. So be sure you blow over the whole thing with the air for your airbrush. Now the, the paint I have on the body is kind of tacky so dust really sticks to it so sometimes I have to get my finger and just kind of rub onto the body get the dust loosened and then same time I'm blowing the air through my airbrush at the same exact time. Okay, so you get your curve coat all mixed up and ready to go. So the first thing I always do is I always mist on the decals. So since this body has a few decals on it, I always put a mist coat on the decals. It gives the decals used to the curve coat and it binds the decals to the body a little more with the clear. Because the curve coat is like a glue that sticks to it and it makes it make sure it's secured to the body. So after that's done, I go ahead and do the hard to reach areas first. I explained them on the video earlier on. It's just areas you might easier forget and forget about. So after that's done, you can go ahead and spray the whole body down with the clear coat. So this first coat is a very light coat. I'm only pulling the trigger back halfway, just misting the body with clear, just get it tacked up. And then the third, the second and third coat is the heaviest coats. Those coats are the shiniest and you can go crazy with those coats. So keep the coats very light.
All right, third and final coat time. As always, I always say, hard to reach area spots first, easy to forget spots, and then you can go ahead and move on to your last body. This, but this coat, you can go as thick as possible, put your chicken back all the way. Nothing too crazy, because you don't want to create runs or anything like that, but you can go crazy, pull your chicken back all the way. And I'm even crazy, you can put in some extra thinner into your clear coat, and then you can make it have it flow out of your airbrush a lot smoother and create a much smoother finish overall.